This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. What if Vladimir Klitschko versus Vitaly Klitschko? Welcome to the latest edition of the Dream Fight series. A hypothetical fantasy matchup between the Klitschko brothers is one that theoretically could have happened, but understandably it was never in the cards. When the Klitschkos both turned pro on November 16, 1996, Vladimir was considered the better prospect, having won Olympic gold earlier that year. The division was stacked at that time, with their professional debuts coming just a week after Evander Holyfield scored a shocking upset against Iron Mike Tyson. You also had guys like Lennox Lewis and Riddick Bowe, the latter of whom was slated to have his rematch against Andrew Galata the following month. The Klitschko brothers had a dream of simultaneously holding every major world title in heavyweight boxing. The goal seemed very far-fetched in this stacked era of heavyweights. As both boxers gained professional experience, Vladimir was the first brother to suffer a major setback when he lost by 11th round stoppage against Ross Purity in December 98. Then it was Vitaly who was viewed as the prospect with greater potential, and he continued winning as his younger brother got back on track. Vitaly stopped Herbie Hyde in round two in June 1999 to win the WBO title, which at that time, it wasn't considered a major world title, but it was highly regarded in Europe and elsewhere, and it was beginning to become a more significant belt. Vitaly lost the title in his second defense the following April, where he was originally scheduled to face Razor Ruddick, but Chris Bird stepped in on short notice. Vitaly retired on his stool at the end of round 9 because he suffered a torn rotator cuff. Although it should be noted, he was ahead on all three scorecards at the time he decided not to continue because of his injury. Vitaly then had the dreaded quitter label attached to him, which I personally believe was unfair, but his reputation suffered because of it. Later that year, in the first Revenge of the Brothers situation, Vladimir dominated Bird and was awarded a lopsided 12-round unanimous decision to reclaim the WBO title for the Klitschko family. Vladimir continued winning, and he was becoming a heavyweight force to be reckoned with. He was being built up as a potential future challenger for heavyweight world champion Lennox Lewis. But in March 2003, Vladimir suffered another tremendous setback when he was bludgeoned by Corey Sanders. Sanders was drilling Vladimir with a booming left hand that couldn't miss the mark, and Klitschko suffered a second round knockout. Now both Klitschkos had tainted reputations, and the Klitschko dream apparently became nothing more than a pipe dream. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Vitaly suddenly found himself in position to challenge Lennox for the heavyweight world championship on short notice. Lewis was slated to face Kirk Johnson, who withdrew because of injury, and Vitaly was set to face Cedric Boswell. Vitaly ultimately lost against Lennox after Lewis inflicted some serious damage around Vitaly's eyes, but the older Klitschko made a very strong account of himself against the champion. Despite suffering a loss because of the damaged eye, Vitaly was actually ahead on all three scorecards when the fight was stopped at the halfway point. It was one of those situations where, even though he lost, his reputation improved. Vitaly capitalized on this momentum, and he defeated Kirk Johnson in a WBC title eliminator. Meanwhile, Vladimir had paired up with Hall of Fame trainer Emmanuel Stewart to help fine-tune his style. Their first fight as a team happened on April 10th, 2004, when Vladimir squared off against Brewster for the WBO title. The first bout with Stewart in Vladimir's corner ended in absolute disaster, and the fight was stopped at the end of round five. Vladimir's reputation was now in shambles. Two weeks later, in what was actually the third Revenge of the Brothers scenario, Vitaly squared off against Corey Sanders for the vacant WBC belt. 
Vitaly had also previously defeated Purity back in 2001. And against Sanders, the big brother once again avenged his younger brother. Klitschko won by 8th round stoppage, and he became the first Klitschko brother to earn a major world title. Vitaly defended that title once in December 2004 when he beat Danny Williams. But after a year of inactivity, Vitaly retired because of nagging injuries. And with his retirement, the Klitschko dream was seemingly dead. By this point in time, the guidance of the great Emmanuel Stewart started paying huge dividends. Vladimir had scored a career-defining victory against the feared undefeated puncher Sam Peter. Vladimir had overcome adversity, rising from the canvas three times. And aside from the knockdowns he suffered, Vladimir otherwise outclassed the fearsome power puncher. The Vladimir Emanuel team was beginning to really find its groove, and Vladimir was transforming into a more complete prize fighter. Vladimir continued improving under Stewart, and he captured his first major world title in April 2006, when he scored a seventh round stoppage in his rematch with Chris Bird to win the IBF title. Two years later, Vladimir also regained the WBO title when he beat Sultan Ibrahimov, and by this point in time, the WBO was now recognized as a major world title. Later that year, in October 2008, Big Brother Vitaly made a comeback without having a single tune-up fight, and he put on a masterclass effort against Sam Peter to win the very same WBC title that previously belonged to him. So by the end of 2008, the Klitschko brothers were in possession of three out of four major world titles. And the Klitschko dream would finally be realized when Vladimir defeated David Hay in July 2011 to capture the WBA Super Duper title. More than 14 years after the two brothers turned pro, they had fulfilled their brotherly dream of simultaneously holding every version of a major heavyweight championship. It was an incredible journey with highs and lows for each brother, but amazingly they accomplished their seemingly impossible goal. It's truly extraordinary. Now the fans may have lost out on something, because the two best heavyweights in the world were destined to never face each other. But watching the Klitschko era, where you had these two brothers dominating the heavyweight landscape, barely losing a round between them along the way, this was truly unique and amazing stuff. Vitaly had his final bout in September 2012, and a month later, Hall of Fame trainer Emmanuel Stewart had sadly passed away, and boxing lost one of its absolute greatest ambassadors of all time. But Vladimir was an excellent student and a great champion, and he managed to continue successfully defending his unified championship over the next three years. When all was said and done, Vladimir was one of the longest reigning heavyweight champions during the long rich history of professional boxing. Vladimir was champion for nearly 10 years, and during that time he made 18 consecutive title defenses. Only the great Joe Lewis and the Eastern Assassin had more, so what Vladimir achieved was historically very significant in the big picture. Now that the book is officially closed on the tremendous careers of both Klitschkos, we have a situation where Vladimir had the greater career accomplishments, and he is widely viewed as the superior technician, but Vitaly is the one usually viewed as the tougher and grittier of the two. It is certainly fair to say that Vitaly had better fighting instinct, whereas Vladimir was a better student of the game. And fortunately for Vladimir, during his prime years, he had one of the very best professors in boxing history to help teach him. It was truly a perfect trainer-boxer union that helped fine-tune Vladimir's natural skills and athleticism, where it transformed him into one of the most efficient and methodical tacticians the heavyweight division has ever seen. When you look at their common opponents, I don't think it says a whole lot about what might have happened in a fight between brothers. Vitaly lost against Bird, and Vladimir beat Bird twice. Vladimir lost against Purity, and Vitaly beat him. 
They both beat Sam Peter, Vladimir having done so twice. Corey Sanders is perhaps the most interesting common opponent to examine here, but I still do not believe it necessarily says a whole lot, because Vitaly faced him when he was arguably at his absolute best, whereas Vladimir faced him when he was still a very long way from becoming the final product he ultimately became under the guidance of Emmanuel. Had they fought at any time between 1996 and 2004, I tend to believe Vitaly would have won. Dr. Iron Fist reached his optimal peak form more quickly than Vladimir did, and I think it would have shown had they met at any point before Vladimir teamed up with Emmanuel. After Vitaly's three-year retirement, which included nearly four years of inactivity, he didn't seem to lose a whole lot, especially in his first fight back when he dominated Peter. He looked very close to peak form that night, but for the next several years that Vitaly competed, despite rarely losing a round, it seemed that the wear and tear were taking a toll on his reflexes. And at that point in time, Vladimir was truly hitting his peak stride. So if they had met at any point between 2008 and 2012, I think Vladimir would have beaten his older brother. But the more interesting way for me to think about a dream fight between the Klitschko brothers is to consider what would have happened if they battled when each man was at his best. Who wins between the best versions of Vladimir and Vitaly? 12 rounds of hypothetical heavyweight action. For me, the best version of Vitaly was from 2003-04, starting with the strong performance against Lennox Lewis in a losing effort and lasting until his final bout before his first retirement. And for Vladimir, I would say he really hit his stride after him and Emmanuel had been working together for a few years spanning approximately from 2007 to around 2011-2012. The Klitschkos had a lot of similar strengths. They were both physically big, both knew how to use their size to their advantage, they both were strong and powerful, and they both had a solid understanding of range and an outstanding ability to dictate the fighting distance to their liking. They were also both very diligent in their preparation, and they always entered the ring well prepared and in tremendous shape. On paper, however, Vladimir was simply better in a lot of areas. For starters, Vladimir was faster and more athletic, and he likewise had better overall reflexes, balance, timing, and coordination. Vladimir also had a better jab. Indeed, Vlad had one of the best jabs ever. Additionally, the younger Klitschko had greater punching power, both in his left and right hand. And in my opinion, Vladimir had better overall technique and a superior overall skill set. And I also believe he had the edge in ring IQ. Finally, Vlad had better overall health. Where his career wasn't effectively crippled because of nagging injuries, as was the case when Vitaly had no fights during a four-year stretch that may have arguably been his peak fighting years otherwise. But there are two big areas where Vitaly had the advantage. He was better at absorbing power punches and maintaining composure. He simply had a better ability to take a punch. And in addition to being tougher than his younger brother, Vitaly had better natural fighting instincts, and this was especially useful whenever he found himself in an unexpected firefight. So despite Vlad having at least a slight edge in most areas on paper, a lot, if not most people, believe Vitaly would win because of his toughness and his greater natural fighting instincts. Whenever the mythical matchup between Vlad and Vitaly is mentioned, in my experience, the majority believe that Vitaly would win, and the majority usually likewise believes that Vitaly is better in a hypothetical head-to-head -head scenario. And you know what? That's a completely reasonable position, and the majority might well be correct. I, however, firmly find myself in the minority. I believe Vladimir wins. And the thing that really tips it in Vlad's favor for me is the Emmanuel Stewart factor. That partnership was just one of those legendary boxer-trainer duos that was incredibly special every step of the way, from the preparations, 
to forming a game plan, and to being able to execute that game plan with the utmost efficiency and consistency. I don't think it would be an easy fight for either brother either way, but at the end of the day, for my official prediction, I like Vladimir Klitschko winning a tactical chess match with a few scary moments along the way in a thrilling and competitive 12-round decision. But what the hell do I know? So who do you think would win a dream fight between Prime Vladimir Klitschko and Prime Vitaly Klitschko? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful night. This is Rummy's Corner.